Welcome to Candy Apple TV with DIY Queen Diva. Join me as I show you how to make delicious strawberry cream candy apples using real cream savers or candy. I'm also giving you two different ways to make candy apple bowls as the candy apple mixture is cooking. You want to start out with six clean Granny Smith apples by using my candy apple cleaning method at the top of your screen. The ingredients you will need are sugar, corn syrup, and this is the Walmart brand. Of course, my cream savers, soft pink Hobby Lobby gel food coloring, and super red Hobby Lobby's gel food coloring. My Lorraine's strawberry. I'm using the 431 candy apple recipe to ensure the perfect crunch and flavor. Here's my four cups of sugar. One cup of light corn syrup. Three cups of water. You want to make sure your candy apple mixture is flowy like this about eight of these strawberry cream candies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you just give this a stir. Make sure you get the sugars do not stir this again. This will melt down. Do not. I know this is tempting because you have the candy pieces in here, but do not stir this again until it comes off the stove. Now, I am not, as you see, I am not going to add any color to this, nor flavoring at the beginning. I want my candy apple mixture to come out as perfect as possible. So I am not going to add any color mixture right now. I'm going to put this on the stove until it reaches 300 degrees. Do not, do not, do not stir while this is on the stove. I'll be back once this reaches 300 degrees. I like to add on my straws and clean my apples again while my candy apple mixture is cooking. I like to especially get on the top of the apple and wipe that really well to avoid bubbles on my candy apples. I want bubble free candy apples. Okay, you're gonna need some scissors. Those are some fabric scissors. A lighter, of course your ribbon. You want your ribbon to be double faced. If you are a beginner making these candy apple bows, go ahead and measure out about 18 inches to give you enough room. You wanna start with enough tail just hanging like this. Wrap the ribbon around both your index and middle finger. You're going to bring it up in between the two, okay? And then you're going to wrap it around your index finger right here. Bring the ribbon behind your middle finger. Then you're gonna take this ribbon right here that you have right here hanging, and you're going to tuck it in between the index and middle finger right at the bottom, right here at this V. And you're just pushing the ribbon through until it reaches the other side. Once you do that, you're just going to flap the ribbon over to form your bow, turn your hand over, and right here at the bottom right side, there's a flap. You're going to take this extra ribbon and just tuck it underneath this flap, not over, but underneath. Not over, but underneath. Okay. So just tuck it underneath. That's all you're doing. And then you pull it out. You're gonna pull up. You're gonna pull up and pull down. You may have to do this several times to make sure that your bow is tight. At least that's what I do. And there's your bow. Once you have formed your bow, 
you can fluff it out right now or you can wait until the end. You want to make sure this middle part is in the center so you may have to just pull it over some to straighten it out. And your tails back here, you're just going to take the scissors and you're going to cut. You don't want to cut too low. You will unravel the bow. You don't want to unravel the bow. So you want to cut a, about right here, which will give you enough room to burn the tips. So your bow doesn't unravel. Now be careful. Do not burn your fingertips. And you just shake it out. Wait until this part is cool. And then you can mash them together. You can get your scissors and push it down or whatever you need to do. You'll be able to tell if you didn't cut it short enough. I didn't cut this short enough. So I need to cut this just a little right here. I just need to cut it just a little bit more. But not too short. Okay, there's your tips. Shake it out to cool it off. Now you have made a cute candy apple bow. Now if you can't catch on this way, there's another way to do this. And it's much easier. You just make sure you have enough tail hanging right here. Double it, one and two okay two you take this ribbon that's hanging and you do the same thing you're just gonna tuck it in between the two pull this ribbon out flap it over you're going to do the same thing. Take this ribbon and tuck it under this flap right here that sits on the right side. This is the easiest way to do it. And you pull up and pull down. Now this one, you will probably have to Make sure it's tightened. And there's your bow. You do the same exact thing. You take it off. The only thing about this is the ribbon. When it's time to burn, the ribbon is always down at the bottom. So it's not at the middle part. That's the only thing that I don't like about making it the easy way. But it still will look cute. You just need to bring it towards the middle part and then burn your tips. Can y'all hear that candy apple mixture cooking in the background? <laughs> so you'll be able to see. So I need a cut. And burn the tip. Just one more time. 
these you need to make sure you burn your tips really good you can push it down with your scissors so you can't see the back make sure you use scissors because that's hot and you just flap it out or you just fluff it out like that it's a little bit of a difference not too much these actually kind of look better to me when they're fluffed out it's just your preference but I like doing these as well I like doing both it doesn't matter let me know down in the comments which one you like so you have two different bows two different styles this is the first way and this is the second way my candy apple mixture for my candy apples has reached 300 degrees i like this pink color so i am not going to use the hobby lobby soft pink because it's already giving that strawberry cream color I am only adding one teaspoon of strawberry Lorraine's flavoring. This is really good. Be careful about adding the Lorraine's strawberry. It's not like the butter vanilla. This is a little thicker. So be careful. You don't want your candy apples thick. I'm adding a few drops of white to bring that strawberry cream look back. Stir your strawberry cream flavor candy apple mixture. Add maybe one two three drops of super red gel food coloring to your candy apple mixture take a candy apple stick and kind of give it a stir tilt my pot strawberry cream oh that looks amazing I like it this looks like strawberry cream and it is strawberry cream I love that red in it I'm glad I did it have so much candy left I could have used the um, 321 you don't need to use Hobby Lobby soft pink all you need to use is the red put a dab of hot glue on the back of your candy apple bow and attach your candy apple bow to your candy apple stick If you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.